What up, Pit Bike Mondays? Got us another one yesterday. Guy dropped it off, CRF 50. We're gonna start, we're gonna start racing. You might as well put that on mute. I just told you, man. Every time just... I try and make a video, this guy's wanting to tell us about DP. You think I ain't know that? I just, just, I just freaking uh, turned off all my alerts. I'm watching for that bum. Pit Bike Monday, guys. Uh, stock CRF 50 out there. We're gonna run it with the 88 kit, see what the difference is with the full suspension and stuff, and then we're gonna rock it with the 142, and it's gonna be good. It's gonna be good, boys. We can't wait. Blake broke that. Excuse the fan noise, can't turn it off. It's Texas. Here we go. Friggin' fully modded XR50. Fully stocked Piranha 140 and a fully stocked CRF50, boys. Real comparison time. Look at the difference between the stock 50 and the modded 50. Holy crap. Cha, what are you gonna ride that? Yeah, I just got done doing it. Oh, that's for the piranha? No, I just chucked some beer. Oh, okay, that's your beer chuck? Yeah. It's your beer cut, my beer stein. Beer cut, yeah, <laughs> my morning beer cut. Yeah, people think it's coffee, that's why. Well, shoot dudes, we're about, any predictions? What's gonna be the fastest? Well, I know this one's pretty damn fast. It's a 140, you got a 50cc and an 88cc. I know this one will top out higher, maybe. I that know. maybe. I know this will, maybe. <laughs> I know it will, maybe. For well, sure. Also, this one, don't forget, we can't tighten the chain on it. Since when? Remember? What do you mean, since Wait, wait, where are you going? Well, well, <laughs> what did you well, do? What do you mean, what, since when? Remember this? No. We need to take a link out? No, we discovered after we got it that... Uh, the bolt was stripped? No, we're going to fix those, it real quick. Yeah, that those were fucked. Well, all we got to do is get two bolts, put them in there. Let's fix that real quick, because that chain's coming off, bro. See how loose it is? No, he's <laughs> none. What do you mean we can't fix the what? chain no what? more? This is a salvage what? bike or what? <laughs> it's straight the salvage title on this bitch? Dude, I'll give you a hundred bucks. For Dude, are you yeah. serious? We almost fucking wrote it like that. Yeah, wait, you weren't going to say shit? Did. You almost oh did. My I God. said something. <laughs> you almost did. Oh my goodness. That is so fucked. That was the first thing you were riding. So we can still... Uh, here's the deal, guys. The way that these work, you thread this out of here. So I'm pretty sure we can make that work. We just gotta move this back. It won't push off of it. You gotta move it back and then spin the nuts to lock them. Blake don't know how bolts work sometimes. When you're pushing with the bolt, it gets a little confusing. Give it a little chain. Give it a little chain kick. Show them how good the chain is adjusted. Good look. <laughs> it's all good. Jared acts like I ain't never touched a, a bicycle before. I ride bicycles every day. Every day. Had to put the chain back on all the time. It's easy to put a chain on. Look, all you do is you hang it back up here, yeah. <laughs> you roll it, and then boom, back in there business. Watch out for piles. Now she's done. Now she's done. Well, we're going to fix this real quick. I had no idea. I had no idea. I think when I ride it, it's probably a little bit tighter than that, but we'll see. What up, guys? Pit Bike Mondays. First thing we're going to do, get some top speeds on these three things, and uh, just for shits. And that's not a clutch. That's handbrake for doing stuff. That's how it sounds when you pull it. So, I'm going to set up the same thing on my phone. I'm going to ride the 140. He's going to ride this. We're going to go down the road, top speed uphill, top speed downhill. You see it over 35 feet above altitude right now. Yeah. Okay. High now altitude. We're 30. Now we're 30. High altitude. Damn, Blake can't even start at all the compression. You going to choke it or no? I had it on choking. It went oh, give her some gas. Hold her oh, up. I've been doing that. How brown the gas is in the filter. I pulled that line off. It's brown as hell, dude. Dude. We're going. We're draining the bowl on that one because the gas was a little funky. Warming this one up. It's a little more of a muffled situation. It's got a full muffle line. Oh, man, it's all brown. 
There you go. Kill it. She clear now. Nice. Alright, I'll never get this back on. At least the pipe ain't too hot. It runs, trust me. Let's ride it. She runs. I know, I can just tell from the idle from the air lead. This thing's logging out at top speed. It only went 30. Uh, I went 35.8. <laughs> that thing's gonna outrun it, bro, dude. I didn't want to hit that fucking shit, bro. <laughs> oh, shit, it wanted her up. Two, three. Thanks with these. Yeah. So, guys, we did a couple test lap, test drags, and uh, this thing does achieve top speed a little faster usually and it does seem to launch a little better for the most part but that 88 kit damn i want y'all to consider a few things that maybe you have uh this bike is 13.99 brand new just like it came this bike was about the same new and the what do you think they spent to get it like that 2500 Yeah, if they had somebody else do it, and for sure, too. And don't get your 88 kits confused, guys. This is a Tacagawa 88 kit. With the BBR rev box, check it. Tacky, tacky, look at that tacky. Shit. Tacagawa, BBR rev, you can tell, too, dude. It just didn't have a red one. No. Blake had a unit I was letting it off. Like, ah! Ah! <laughs> uh, they got the handbrake on here, the tall bars, disc front brake at the Sano front end, pipe. I mean, shock, pretty much everything you can do with one of those without boring the cases. Sure. And that little bike sounds really good, and uh, I'd rather start it any day than this set of shit. Because it's just ridiculous. Yeah, that thing sucks. Here go your stock 50. That's about what that looked like when it started out. Yep. You know? There's the difference, guys. Here, let's get a... If you're a big boy wondering pit bikes, 50s are a little out of style. It's all about the 110s now. Look at that 50. <laughs> big difference. Get up in there, dudes. And we're going to go out there and get a top speed on this too. And then drag race them. And you guys are really going to be able to tell that there's no comparison. And this thing actually runs great. I feel like if we moved the needle on this or maybe jetted it today, yeah. it would run better. Because I know my other one, what did it do, 43? Something like that. But it had this, oh, you know what? It had the CRF 12 inch back tire, that 12 and 14. Oh, yeah. Uh, but it is torquey. It's fun to ride. Yeah. But, damn, I, I, we thought it was going to be fast. Yep. And I think it still would be, even if we 
with just fixing the jetting. Yeah, Obviously, I think so too. Got some sprockets going on over here. What you think of the ride? It's all right. It's pretty good. Yeah. It's comfortable though, huh? It's yeah. Hitting your elbow, knees. Oh yeah, for sure. She's still a little squirrely on the rocks though. Yeah, <laughs> dude. Did y'all see him slide? Heck see. yeah, power slide. Oh, on the red grass, yeah. <laughs> power slide. Damn, dudes. Surprising. Hella speed, dudes. Did you see that? Look at the hair. That's how you know when been going fast. Uh, if you're watching Pit Bike Mondays, check this out. I can do better than that. We went out and rode this weekend. Check out the Lake Murray video. Took the, the Pitster Pro 190, the Can-Am, and the Ranger. Got some more coming up for you guys if you're watching Pit Bike Monday. We got to get this Astro conversion and this 250R together. Picked up this YFZ yesterday. It's going to be a full rebuild, boys. Get up in there. And uh, trying to get some brakes on this Suzuki. Got a couple of these 400s this weekend done. Check it. Oh, she in gear, boys. that YFZ. Full rebuild time. Another blaster project coming up. Got an LTZ out there. We're going to sell actually. I'm going to work on that. Uh, lots more pit bikes coming up, guys. Little KD-80X. Couple big wheels. A ton of 50s we're going to start making some videos on. Blaster, zingers. These right here, one of those is going to get restored in the new shop. I don't know which yet. That'll be a pretty fun project. Cha, a couple more zingers. Look at that bad boy. Look at that bad boy. No, not too bad. A little bit of room in there. Definitely some more pit bike projects. This big wheel 350 we're going to restore in the new shop. CR60, CR80, KX80. Husky Boy 50, LEM 50 up there. Oh, it's only about... 250 degrees today guys so god can you believe it gotta stay busy though appreciate you guys hope you have a good week it's monday get on up in get up in this week get up in this week and make it yours boys i appreciate it stock crf 50 fully modern xr 50 88 cc motor oversized car pipe rev box sano front end tall bars Bar risers, I mean, handbrake, or stop. Grip so, tape, grip tape, tall seat, extended swing arm, eye shock, Tech and Gallo 88 top end that has a Tech and Gallo intake. Tires for the street. The street tires, and you got this bad boy. It's all Honda right here, guys. The stock, just how it came. Won't even idle, just like from the factory. Yep. And, uh, no, but we're gonna we're gonna show y'all the difference between the stock one through a stocker. First of all, let's look at some height. Let's get some height. Five degrees, eight dude. Sit on this one, Blake, and then sit on that one. See what kind of knee. Like try and get your this leg up on the peg. See here. Oh, okay. Okay. Cool. So that's pretty. Not not the worst, but it is tight. Hop on the other one. Yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's pretty tight. You could definitely hit. So you can hammer down on that one. A lot more comfortable. Put yeah. your feet on the ground. The clutch is good too. Pretty tall compared to 50 guys. Oh yeah. I mean, his legs are straight. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. I'm tiptoe. Let's go out there. This one topped out at 38.8, 35, 30, no, 35.8, 33.8. Blake's gonna go see what this does here in a minute. So guys, here we go. We're gonna run the stalker versus the stalker versus the other one.
it was like dead even. And this topped out more on the road. Oh. Now we switch. So guys, Pit Bike Monday. Here, let's roll. Guys, it's been Pit Bike Monday. Appreciate it. Have a good week. Get up in there and handle your handle business. Yeah. Get in there and handle your business. Kick the week's ass and uh, come back on Thursday and watch Two Stroke Thursday. Plus tomorrow we got us a sweet 400EX video posting. So oh, yeah. get up in there, dudes. Appreciate it. And stock versus mod, not a whole lot to compare. These two were a pretty good comparison. This thing actually surprised me the most. Yeah. Oh, Blake's gonna get us a top speed run on this. Yep. Uh, <laughs> Tops out faster than both of them. 35. <laughs> no, I had the stock one. 35.9. You sure? Yeah, dude, I was going, I was booking it. Dang, the other one didn't even do that. Yeah. How the stock one go fast? I guess it's the sprockets. Yeah. Jeez. What's up, dudes? I appreciate you watching Pit Bike Monday. Shop's almost done, so pretty soon we're going to be able to get you guys some real good builds and uh, a lot more content. So get up in there, dudes. A lot more to come. And uh, check out the video tomorrow. Some 400 EX action, boys.